<laughs> Oceana, we brought your mirror back. Oh, thank you so much. But why is it so tiny? We had to shrink it down to fit in the submarine. Don't worry, the spell will wear off soon and it'll grow big again. There you go. My mirror. Thank you all so much. You're very welcome. Well, it's been uh, very interesting meeting you uh, mermaids, but we must be getting back now. Bye, Oceana. Bye, everyone. Bye, Betty. <laughs> suddenly got big again. Well, that happened to me and my dad. Yep. And the fun bit is, you don't know when. Which means we should get a move on. We don't want them to grow big in the submarine. Ooh, I'm growing! Yeah, so am I. We must get to land. Full speed ahead. Almost there. Almost there. Try not to grow too much. <laughs> See, there was no need to panic. We had plenty of time. What an adventure! Yes, it was quite amazing. Remember, Lucy's dad, the little kingdom is meant to be secret. You must not tell any of your friends what you saw today. Tell my friends what I saw today? Let me think about that. And then the magical fairies shrank me down to the size of my thumb. I saw singing mermaids, and did I tell you that I now have a fish for a brother? No, I will not be telling anyone what I saw today. All those tubes and things made it a bit like plumbing, and elves are good at plumbing. Thank you. I will now start the engine. Oh, that's not right. It sounds like a fairy car on a cold day, Daddy. Yes, it does. A bit of magic always helps start the fairy car. No, you must never mix magic and plumbing. Oh, nonsense. Sounds good. Thanks to me being an excellent plumber. Thanks to my magic fairy dust, you mean. Now, now, let's say elf skill mended the engine and fairy magic got it started. Hooray! Lucy! That's my dad. I'd better go. Mum, Dad, you'll never guess what I just saw. Don't tell me. Elves and fairies again. Yes, and aliens too. <laughs> aliens. Oh, aliens. Of course, Lucy. We must leave now. Ben, Holly, would you like a little ride before we go? Yes, please. <laughs> Dear Lucy, everyone knows aliens don't exist. Hello, Lucy! Hi, Ben and Holly. The aliens have to fly back to their planet. They just wanted to say hello to your parents. Hello, big people. We have just been here on our holidays. Um... Hello? We go now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye. I think we'll have picnics somewhere else in future. <laughs> Whee! Oh! Next time you go on holiday, you must come to Planet Bong. I like your fairy outfit. Thanks. Where do you live? In a fairy castle. You live in a fairy castle? Holly! Uh, I mean, I live in a house. Where do you live, Ben? I live in a tree. A tree? I mean, a block of flats. We call it the tree. I live in a block of flats too, but we call it a block of flats. I like your elf costume, especially the ears. Are you going to a fancy dress party? Uh. Come on, everyone. Let's play catch. Katie, catch! <laughs> to you, Yasmin. <laughs> to you, Ben. I threw it too far. Don't worry, I've got it. Ooh, wow. You 
can run really fast and jump really high. That's because I'm an elf. Uh, ben? I mean, that's because I keep fit. Uh, <laughs> Holly, can you run fast? No, but I can fly. Holly, remember, you can't really fly. Oh, yes. I can do magic. Ooh, magic. I like magic tricks. Show us a trick then. Are you sure you can do magic, Holly? Of course. Are you really sure? Yes. Hikers, pikers. Wow. wow. Holly, you'll give away that we're not normal big people. Oh, sorry. That's an amazing trick. How is it done? <laughs> is it a trick ball? Uh, it's a secret. A magician never gives away their secrets. Ooh. Ooh! Lucy, home time. That's my dad. We have to go now. It was nice to meet you, Ben and Holly. Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye. I don't want my cakes. Oh, yes, we do. You think they're horrible, don't you? Of course we don't. Oh, good then. I'll put them here. That should raise lots of money to mend your school, Mrs Fig. Thank you, Your Majesty. Maybe I should have used magic to mend the school. It would have been less dangerous. Keep clear of the cakes. No one eat them. Ooh, cakes. Wait. Yow! What kind of a cake is that? It's a rock cake. Queen Thistle baked it. Oh, the Queen baking again. The fudge cake glues your mouth shut. And the gingerbread is waterproof. Incredible! What can these things be made of? I want to do some tests on these cakes. This machine tests how strong things are. Let's start with something very weak, like this egg. The egg had a strength of one. Now let's try a brick. The brick had a strength of five. Now let's try the Queen's rock cake. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's reached eleven. Eleven? Nothing has gone to eleven before. Stand back, everyone! <gasps> the cake broke the machine. That cake is the strongest substance known to man. The fudge cake stuck Daddy's mouth shut. Hmm, let's test how sticky it really is. Stop, wise old elf! Don't touch the fudge cake! You'll be stuck to it forever! OK, let's just say the Queen has created the stickiest substance known to man. Ah, rainbows! They're a pirate's worst enemy. No, they're not. Rainbows are a pirate's best friend. Depends whether you're burying treasure or finding it. Good point. So, anyway, don't let us stop you, Captain Squid. You get back to burying your treasure. Thank you kindly, Redbeard. I was just about to bury it here. Hang on. You can't trick me that easily. No one must see where I bury my treasure. You've all got to close your eyes. Thank you. OK, you can look now. So, where did you bury it? Why, it's right over there. Ha, <laughs> ha, you're trying to trick me again. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. The rainbow is moving. It's gone to the treasure. Ah, blasted rainbows. Don't worry, Captain Squid. We won't dig it up, will we, Redbeard? No, of course not. Is it home time yet? Yes, I think it is. Today's adventure is over. And I'd be honoured to take you all home on my yacht. That sounds a nice way to travel. Yacht? That's a rowing boat. Plenty of room if we all squeeze up. <laughs> Where can I sit? Wait a minute. Are you 
a woman. Yes? Oh, bad luck having a woman on board. It's all right. Turns out it's bad luck for the woman, not for us. Oh, in that case, welcome aboard, me lovely. Oh, no! It's rocking worse than Redbeard's boats. Fun, isn't it? Yes! That's what being an elf pirate is all about. Having fun. <laughs> By the way, none of you get seasick, do you? Everything's under control. Thanks for your help, Mr Elf. Lucky you were still here and not off on your deliveries. Oh, my deliveries! I really am late now. Look at the little primroses. So pretty. Good delivery. Morning, Mr Elf. You're a bit late today. Yes, we had a problem with the chickens this morning. Chickens, eh? That reminds me. I really fancy an egg for breakfast. Ah, I didn't bring an egg today. No egg? No problem. I'll just go and get one. Can I come along? Of course. I'd better come too so I can pick a good egg. We'll drive back to the chickens, pick up the egg, load it on the truck, drive back here, and hey, presto, you'll have your egg, Your Majesty. Oh, all that for one egg? It'd be simpler if I had my own chicken. Then I'd get an egg in time for breakfast. <laughs> OK, bye. Bye. You don't really want a chicken, do you? Of course not. I was joking. <laughs> an egg! The king wants an egg! Does he? We might have a problem there. The chickens aren't laying any eggs. What? Why not? The chickens have run out of food. They've pecked away all the plants. Till all that's left is mud. Yes, if you want a nice flower garden, don't keep chickens. Look, there's one little flower left. Oh, they like eating little flowers the best. Hey, you cheeky chicken. If only there was somewhere else they could live. Oh, Daddy said he'd like chickens at the little castle. Yes, he did sort of say that. It's true. The king said, I want my own chicken. It's the perfect solution. We'll move the chickens to the little castle. Leave your problem with Elf Man and Fairy Girl. We'll take care of it. Thank you, Elf Boy. Oh, Elf Man! We have to find Strawberry's secret hideout and tell her to stop the snow. Mwahaha! <laughs> the whole of the little kingdom is freezing cold. Even in here? Yes. My bottom is getting cold sitting on the ice throne. Couldn't you be the Sunshine Queen instead? It's too late now. I'm Strawberry Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry's hideout must be around here somewhere. We need to look out for a sort of place that a supervillain ice queen might live in. Uh, like that? Wow! A giant palace of ice! This is better than the elf cave any day. No, it's not. It's just showing off. Mwahaha! <laughs> not so fast! Strawberry Ice Queen. What brings you here, Elf Boy? Elf Man! I've come to stop you. But you can't stop me. I'm the Ice Queen. <laughs> oh, that's cold. Strawberry, the grown-ups are a bit cross about all the freezing snow. Oops, are they? Yes. yes. Are we in trouble? I don't think we're in trouble, as long as the game is over. OK. Do I win? No, the goodies win. That's not fair. You're stuck in the ice. Oh, OK, you win. Hooray! Finally, I can get rid of the ice throne. My bottom is freezing. <laughs> Good! The sun is out! You 
look lovely, Mummy. I've got something for you. Oh, thank you, my dear. It's a magic mirror. Mrs Witch didn't want it anymore. So, what does the magic mirror do? I tell the truth. Oh. How exciting. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? You are, Queen Thistle. Oh, how wonderful. Well, you normally are the fairest of them all. Oh, what do you mean? Well, it's a bit of a bad hair day today, isn't it? Oh, dear. Now I'll have to start all over again. <laughs> what did you say that for? Just telling the truth, Your Majesty. Now we'll be eating even later, and I'm starving. Hello, Mum. I've got a present for you. Mrs Witch had a spring clean and she threw this out. A lamp. Isn't it nice? Oh, lovely. Very brassy. I'll just give it a polish. I am the genie of the lamp. Oh, oh. he's very manly. Yeah. <laughs> I will grant you three wishes. What should we wish for? Why don't you dance for us? <laughs> Your wish is my command. <laughs> I wish for loud music. Very well. <laughs> I wish we had a big party with all of us dancing. That is your third and final wish. But you have used up your three wishes. Bye-bye. Oh, no! I don't want to dance forever. Let's go and see King Thistle. He can sort it out. How are you doing in there, darling? I'm hungry. I'm ready. Mummy, you look super. Uh, yes, you look lovely. Right, let's go eat. I'll just ask the mirror what it thinks. Mirror, mirror, on the wall, how does my hair look now? Honestly, not good. Sandwich, Mrs Elf? Thank you, Queen Thistle. Sandwich, darling? Mmm, yummy! Honey sandwiches, my favourite. <laughs> ah, buzz off! Go away! <laughs> Daddy, they're only bees. Well, I don't like them. They're good for nothing. Good for nothing? The honey in your sandwich comes from bees. No, it doesn't. Honey comes from a jar. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> Didn't you go to school, dear? Yes, King School. We learned to wave. <laughs> <laughs> Ben's right, King Thistle. Bees do make honey. Really? How do they do that, then? It all starts with a flower. The bees eat sweet nectar from the flower. They eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and... Yes, thank you, Mrs Elf. When they've eaten lots of nectar, they take it back to make honey in the beehive. I'd love to see the beehive. I'll take you there if you like. Good idea, Mr Elf. And while you're at it, can you get me some more honey? Of course, Your Majesty. We'll bring you back a nice fresh jar of honey. <laughs> Mr. Elf, how many bees live in the hive? Oh, there are thousands of bees in a hive. Thousands? Wow! They must make a right old racket. Oh, yes! Get ready for the loud buzzing. It will be very noisy indeed. Oh, it's very quiet. Wise old elf, where are all the bees? They've gone. Gone? gone? Yes, flown off. We're waiting to see if they come back. There! That's the queen bee. The rest of them always follow her. Good! She's led them all back into the hive. Everyone relax. All's back to normal. We take all this treasure... Oh. Sneak into the mine and bury the treasure deep down. Oh, and then the dwarves will dig it up. 
and they'll be happy and stop digging. Correct. Excellent plan. All right, Nanny Plum's in charge. Off you go. But it's my plan. OK, you can both be in charge. Thank you, Your Majesty. But I'm in charge, really. We need to bury the treasure deep down in the mine. But how do we get inside? The train! Clever Ben! Wait for me! Wolf Mine, here we come! <laughs> <laughs> Very deep. Hold tight, everyone. Oh, no! with all the dwarves around. I know. I'm good at voices. This is the dwarf boss. Come on, lads. Let's go, go, go. That's brilliant. Now watch this. All right, boys. Tea break. Tea break. OK, okay boss. <laughs> well done, Nanny Plum. No probs. Right, let's hide this treasure. Quickly now, dwarves never stop digging for long. Here they come! <laughs> gold! I found gold! There. Oh, Mum, I really wanted Ben and Holly to come to my party. Well, I think they can. Just keep them out of sight and away from your dad. Great! Thanks, Mum. I'll go and tell them. As long as it's only Ben and Holly. Ben! Holly! Mum says you can come to the party after all. Hooray! Hooray. Thanks, Thanks, you see. We can do magic. And play party games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it was only supposed to be Ben and Holly. So, you don't want us to come? Of course I do. You can all come. I'm sure it will be fine. Hooray! As long as you promise to stay out of sight and away from my dad. We, we promise. promise. Let's put your wings on. <laughs> now you look like a real fairy princess. Lucy, all your friends are here. Oh, goody. Happy birthday, Lucy. <laughs> I like your fairy wings. I like your elf ears. I made them myself. <laughs> Here's a balloon each. Hold tight or they'll fly away. <laughs> Have fun. I'll be back to pick you up after the party. <laughs> I think the coast is clear. Have fun. I'll be back to pick you up after the party. Hello. My goodness, you've all come. Um, welcome. Here's a balloon. Hold on tight or it'll fly away. Whoa. Quick, grab him. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the lovely party food. Ooh. There's the birthday cake. Gaston's going to eat the cake. No, Gaston. Bad, Ladybird. <coughs> That's for later. Come on, everyone. Party time. Oh, yes. Smarty Pants. He lives at the Great Elf Tree over there. Thank you. We will go and look for Smarty Pants. <laughs> It's Cyrus, the alien. Hello. Hello, Elf Ben. We are looking for the one they call Smarty Pants. He must mean the wise old elf. Did someone say my name? Goodness me, alien. <gasps> we need your help, Smarty Pants. Well, of course. Anything I can do. Is it true you can solve any problem? Yes, I can solve any problem. Good. We have a big problem. 
Once upon a time, our home planet was a wonderful planet. It was covered in plants and all was good. There was everything we needed and we were surrounded by beautiful flowers. We worked happily in our factories and everything was fine. It sounds very nice. Yes, it was. But now it is very hot and the plants do not grow anymore. Oh, that's a shame. So we want you to bring all the plants back to life and make Planet Bong nice again like it was before. Uh, that sounds a bit difficult. But can't you use your magic? Magic? Elves don't do magic. And I'm an elf. So, you cannot help us. You are not Smarty Pants. Yes, I am Smarty Pants. And I will save your planet with uh, 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 magic. But wise old elf. Elves don't do magic. Shh. Don't worry about it, Ben. Good. We go now. This will be an elf expedition to save Planet Bong. Uh, I'll just need to stop on the way to collect a friend. If anyone would like a snack, take a roof tile. They're gingerbread, you know. Thanks, Mrs. Witch. <gasps> Bye. Bye. <laughs> They never suspected a thing. But now they're going to the lake. And that's where Redbeard, the elf pirate, sails his boat. We have to warn him. Hello? Redbeard, the elf pirate, speaking. Listen carefully. Big people are coming your way. <laughs> I hear them, and I've no time to hide. Pretend to be a toy. Okie dokie. I'm a toy! Here's the lake. I found a toy boat. There's a doll on it. Oh, that's Redbeard. Who's Redbeard? I mean, uh, the doll's got a red beard. Some poor child must have lost it. Let's put it here where they'll find it. Miss Cookie, I found a tadpole. Lovely. Tick tadpoles off your list. Tadpoles! And that's the end of today's nature trail. Come on, children, back to school. Yes, Miss Cookie. Well done, Redbeard. They never suspected a thing. It was a close call and no mistake. They've been all over the Little Kingdom now, but we haven't been discovered. Yes, well done, everyone. The big people have no idea us little people live here. They didn't see the great elf tree or the little castle. And they didn't find out Mrs Witch is a witch. All I can say is it's a good thing they didn't bump into the gnome. Dumpty Dumpty Doo Da. Ah! The gnome! Dumpty Dumpty Doo Da. Hello. Evening all. Hello. Are you going to a fancy dress party? Party? Is there party food there? I like food. Ooh, ginger snaps. My favourite. Thank you so much. Think nothing of it, Nanny Plum. It's all in a day's work for Elf Rescue. Thank you, Elf Rescue. Not at all. Whenever you need us, just call. Well, I'd better start fixing me boat. And we'd better go home. Oh, I'm too tired to walk. Shall we fly? That's even more tiring. It's not that far, Nanny Plum. I'd feel better about it if I had a biscuit. Maybe I'll call Elf Rescue. But, Nanny, I don't think Elf Rescue is really for giving people lifts home. Nonsense. The wise old elf said, whenever you need us, just call. Elf Rescue? Hello, Nanny Plum here. I'm stuck by the lake. Stuck, you say? Hang on, we'll be right there. Elf Rescue are go. What seems to be the problem? My legs are tired. Can I have a lift home? What? 
Nanny Plum, the Elf Rescue Service is for emergencies only. Keep your hair on. Can you give me a lift or not? Mm, this is the way to travel. Tea, biscuits and a great view. Dad, can I have a go at flying? No, Ben. You're not a grown-up. It's not fair. Grown-ups have all the fun. We want to rescue people. You're just going to have to wait till you're older. Aww. Thank you, Elf Rescue. And don't waste our time again. Charming. Now what am I going to do? I won't get any work done if I stay like this. Don't worry, Nanny. I can turn you back. Oh, thanks, Holly. <laughs> now the twins are crying again. I know. The elves could make a Nanny Plum doll. Elves are good at making things. And I'm an elf. <laughs> good idea, Ben. Wise old elf. Can you make a Nanny Plum doll? It's for the twins. <laughs> well, now, what does this doll look like? Dolly Plum. Ah! Uh, it looks like that. Oh, I see. Daisy, Poppy, you turn me back this instant or I'll... I'm Dolly Plum. Feed me, please. <laughs> yes, I think we can make a copy of this. Come along, please. If I press your tummy, will you sing a song? Don't you even think of pressing my tummy. Dolly Plum is lots of fun. <laughs> you are indeed. You are indeed. So, how are you going to copy me? We'll use this copying machine. This is how it works. If we take this tennis ball and put it right here... <laughs> An exact copy. Ooh. Now for Dolly Plum. Um, actually, I've changed my mind. Can you put me down, please? I don't think I want to do this today. Thank you. Thank you, Nanny. You just have. What do you mean? What do you mean? Yes, Your Majesty. No, Your Majesty. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like me. <laughs> it does a bit, Nanny. Dolly Plum. It's a perfect copy. Yes, and now that we've copied Nanny, we can make as many as we want. In all my years of teaching, Nanny Plum, I never had another pupil like you. Thank you. And I am the wise old elf. Elves? At magic school? Yes. We're here to see the magic all go wrong. Nothing will go wrong at Mrs Fig's magic school. Now, who do we have here? I'm Princess Holly. Princess Holly, what do you and your little friends know about magic? Oh, I've taught them lots of things. Let's say you know nothing. Now, what's the most important rule of magic? Don't do magic. Correct. What? But where's the fun in that? Magic is not meant to be fun. Oh, ho, ho. I like this lesson. Magic is only meant to be used for sensible things by sensible people. Now, pretend you are in the kitchen doing the washing up. Are you going to wash the dirty dishes using magic? Yes. Stop! That's just the sort of thing you can do by hand. What? That's just plain wrong. But if you come across a particularly stubborn stain on a saucepan, then perhaps you could... Use magic. Leave it to soak overnight. Why not just magic the whole lot clean and get on with something fun? I am the teacher, Nene Plum. Sorry. Figgy. And now for the magic lesson. Hooray! First, we have to warm up. Let's start with a little jog. No, not the jogging. Outside, chop, chop. Run around, everyone. 
What does running have to do with magic? Nothing. It builds character. I don't need any more character. Thank you. Are you all... They eat and eat and eat and eat and eat Yes, and eat. thank you, Mrs Elf. We get the idea. But locusts don't wear size 10 shoes. <gasps> what is it? It's a footprint. Our fruit hasn't been eaten by a swarm of locusts. This is the work of a swarm of gnomes. <gasps> gnomes! gnomes. Wise old elf, how many gnomes does it take to make a swarm? Just the one. Gnomes have a huge appetite. They can't stop themselves eating. If they see food, they eat it. That's right. They eat and eat and eat and eat. Yes, yes, Mrs Elf. So, does it mean there'll be no fruit harvest and no dancing? Yes. No. Because there's always blackberries. They grow in the wild. Mmm, blackberries. But we have to get to the blackberries before the gnome does. How do you stop a gnome from eating everything? Well, they used to say, to scare off a gnome, bring an orange from home. Yes, we tried that once. What happened? He ate the orange. Yes, gnomes like all fruit. The only thing they like more than fruit is pie. Here we are. The blackberries are still here. Thank goodness. No time to waste. Begin the harvest, everyone. Right on. Picking blackberries is one of the most dangerous jobs for an elf. Why? Because elves are quite small. And blackberry bushes are covered in big thorns. And the best berries are very high up. Oh, I can't reach it. Let me help. That's tasty. Ah, the gnome! Hello. Nice to see you. Well, it's not nice to see you. Oh, that's a shame. Normally, I'm very popular. Are you? Uh, no. Everyone hates me. Oh, no! That's Mummy! They've turned her into a baby ladybird! Baby bird! Baby bird! <laughs> Daisy, Poppy, it's very naughty to turn your mother into a ladybird. Oof! Thank you, darling. <coughs> oh, dear. It's all right, King Thistle. They're just getting overtired. Right. Where are your storybooks, Holly? In my bedroom. <laughs> they like Holly's bed. They've got so much energy. I love this storybook. No, Gaston. It's not for eating. Rockabye baby on the treetops. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bell breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come baby, cradle and all. Down will come baby, cradle and all? That's not very nice. You're right. Um, what about this one? It's about ladybirds. Ladybird, ladybird, fly away home. Your house is on f... Oh dear, this one's even more scary. How about this one? Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Can't you make it more about ladybirds, Ben? OK. Once upon a time, there were three little ladybirds and they each built a little house. One was made of straw, one was made of sticks and one was made of bricks. What happened next? Well, one day, a big bad wolf came along to the straw house and he huffed and he puffed and he... Does the story have a happy ending? Um, let's see. Uh, no. I mean, let's just say the three little piggies, I mean ladybirds, lived happily ever after. So the wolf didn't eat any of them? Not even one? No, no, no. Of course not. It was all happy. The end. Ben? It's from Ben. It says... Trapped on a desert island, Dad Bored, please rescue. Let's go and tell the wise old elf. Wise old elf! Wise old elf! We found a message in a bottle. From Ben Elf. 
Oh, my goodness. Launch Elf Rescue. We have a family to save. Elf Rescue are go. Dinner time. Who wants coconut? Ugh. We've had coconut every day for weeks. Coconut soup, coconut pie, coconut pancakes, curried coconut. Ah, but tonight it's coconut surprise. What's the surprise? It's coconut. <sighs> coconut surprise? Delicious. Mmm, who's having a great time? I know I am. I want to go home. Me too. Yes, I do too. Home? I can't go home. I've got too much work to do here. I need to finish the hut, start on the garden, and I haven't even thought about the plumbing. No, the last thing I want to do now is go home. It's Elf Rescue! Hooray! Hello? We're here to take you home. Oh, thank you! But I haven't finished my work on Elf Island. But there's work for you back home. Nanny Plum hasn't quite got the hang of the deliveries. I wanted a potato and she brought me an onion. Onions instead of potatoes? That's crazy! I'll have to sort that out. So home we go! Bye-bye, Elf Island. Yes, bye-bye, Elf Island. I have to admit, that's the best holiday I've ever had. It's guarded by a ferocious beast. Ooh! School starting! <laughs> All right, Acorn Class, settle down. Lucy, could you please feed Fluffy the hamster? Yes, Miss Cookie. Oh, look what I found. It's the toy pirate chest from the fish tank. How on earth did it get in Fluffy's cage? Maybe a pirate put it there. <laughs> we'll just put it back, shall we? Guarded by a ferocious beast indeed. Fluffy the hamster! There. Back where it belongs. Never mind, Captain Squid. I think that's the best hiding place for it anyway. But you all know where it is now. We won't tell anyone. You swear? Yes, on Pirate's honour. But Redbeard, you said pirates don't really have any honour and... Yes, yes. Thank you, Holly. We'll talk about this more later. But for now, put your hands on your hearts and say Pirate's honour. Pirates honour! All aboard! Let's be off before we're spotted. A flying ship. Yes, all the best pirates have one these days. Now, let's start the class. <laughs> Miss Cookie, look! A flying pirate ship! It's, it's behind, behind you! Ha ha, yes, children. Now settle down, please. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. What are you doing here? Tell you later. Set sail for home! Little kingdom, here we come. Ha-ha! <laughs> I think we got away with that. Aye, it were a great adventure. And that's what being elf pirates is all about. Having adventures. <laughs> Slug, mostly, with a hint of bat and spider eggs for crunch. Ooh. That's the most disgusting thing I've ever tasted. Thank you. No, my jam, Your Majesty. Yes. Um, why should I have all the fun? Isn't it someone else's go? Daddy, you're the judge, so you must taste both jams. Of course I must. Lucky me. Oh, they both taste equally revolting. So, the jam making is a draw. Hooray! And now, broomstick flying! Yeehaw! That was really good! Ooh. Now it's Mrs. Witch's turn! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Right! She's held on! Yeehaw! She's riding! 
the broom brilliantly. Hooray! I declare the broomstick riding a draw. Now for the spell contest. Mrs Witch, where are you going? To the old witch's home. I can't win a spell contest. Yes, you can. You turned Nanny to stone. And you turned her into a frog. Well, Nanny Plum makes me so cross. Just remember to be cross with Wendy Witch. But she's so polite and charming. She wants to put you in the old witch's home. And live in your house. You're right. Remember I'm cross. Remember I'm cross. Let the, Let the spells, spells begin. begin. The witch, the that, witch turns that turns the, the other, other to, stone to stone is the is winner. winner. Remember I'm cross. Remember, I'm cross. A VIP? Our castle's bigger. Why can't the VIP come here? No, thank you. King Leopold wants to visit us. Oh. But maybe you could come and meet him too. Oh, yes, please. We're having a party in his honour tonight. We'll be there. Bye. Usually the marigolds laugh and laugh and laugh at us, but this time we'll be different. <laughs> We've got King Leopold coming to visit. We must start preparing. We'll have to make lots of lovely food. I'll start cooking straight away. We'll need a red carpet and the little children can wave flags to welcome King Leopold. And we'll have beautiful music. Now, children, everyone pick an instrument. Then you can play the spal throttle. OK. I've got the thump warbler. <coughs> and I've got the trimpy trumpy. <coughs> I think I'll have the fairy harp. Ah! Magic instruments! It is meant to be an elf and fairy band. And we fairies always use magical instruments. Oh, very well. Just a little magic, then. OK. Here's the magic piano. Hello, I'm a magic piano. I sing and I talk and I play. Ah! Too much magic. The wise old elf doesn't like magic. Ah, oh, sorry. I'm not a magic piano. I'm just a normal piano. I don't talk, really. My turn. A magic triangle. I can't bear to look. Oh, a pretty triangle. What's magical about that? Just don't ask it for free wishes. <laughs> ah! Would it be OK if we played some rock and roll? Rock and roll? Certainly not. We're playing for King Leopold, remember? OK. It was just a thought. Mrs Elf, are you coming diving? Um, no thanks. I need to catch up on some important reading. Right all. See you later. Chapter One. I was just a young servant girl and Squire Trevelyan, with his dark, broody looks and mane of black hair, was being very grumpy. I didn't like him at all. This is the coral reef. Amazing! Yes, it's all so pretty. Do you think we'll bump into anyone else down here? In the middle of a vast ocean? We're not going to bump into anyone. Ah, watch where you're going. Oh, I'm most terribly sorry. I didn't see you there. Well, I am here and I'm not pleased to be bumped into. Not pleased at all. It's Captain Squid, the pirate. Yes, it is I, Captain Squid, and I'm here burying the treasure. Burying your treasure? At the bottom of the ocean? The thing is, every place I bury my treasure, it gets found. So I thought if I bury it at the bottom of the ocean, where no people ever visit, maybe, just maybe, my treasure might stay hidden. It's not too much to ask, is it? Well, we're very sorry to disturb you. We'll be on our way. Yes, be off with you. Get your own ocean to swim in. Uh, hang on a moment. There is, uh, something you could help me with. What's that? It's a bit embarrassing, but uh, I haven't got a boat to sail home in. Can I have a lift? 
And what happened to your boat? It got eaten by a big fish. Barry! Barry's here! The fish that ate my boat had big eyes. That's Barry. And a big mouth. That's Barry! And eight legs. That's not Barry. A fish with eight legs? Yes, it's a giant octopus and it's swimming towards your boat. Ah, I have to warn Mrs Elf. And then Squire Trevelyan said, Here is the great secret I must tell you. The person I truly love is... Yes, this had better be important. Yes, uh, don't panic, but there is something swimming towards you. Oh, yes, what sort of a something? Uh, a sort of hungry giant octopus with eight legs something. Oh, yes. And I gave it a brain. Master. And a voice. Master. What do you think of my gardening, Cedric? This isn't gardening. This is an abomination. Daddy, what's an abomination? That tulip. I do like my hobbies. Frogs. I asked myself, why should a frog have just two eyes? Why not ten? Or 23. Oh, that's enough, dear. They don't care about your silly old hobbies. Yes, I'm forgetting myself. It's your party, darling. And I've arranged a fantastic surprise. What's the surprise? I dread to think. To the top of the tower! Granny Thistle loves looking at the stars. Oh, yes. Stars are very pretty. So I asked myself, why do we have to look at the stars from down here? Why not up there in the sky? Wow! The tower's turned into a rocket. Aren't the stars beautiful, Granny? They certainly are, darling. Very nice. Uh, Dad, how do you land this thing? No idea, son. This is magic. I don't have to know what I'm doing. I may not know much about magic, but I do know how to land a rocket. Look, we're back home. And we survived the party. Thank you for landing the rocket, Cedric. My pleasure, Millicent. Bye, everyone. Goodbye. Where to now? Home? No. Let's head to the sun and see what it's made of. Groovy. I have brought you this beautiful ring. Thank you. Is it magical? Um, maybe a little. Just don't rub it, OK? OK. And for Daisy and Poppy... Two grown-up wands! Wandy! Wandy! But we've just taken their wands away. Yes, it's lucky I came when I did. These wands belonged to your great-grandparents. Vlad the Powerful and Sharon the Totally Insane. Not dangerous, are they? Only as dangerous as the person who waves them. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think we'd better put these straight in the cupboard. Oh, well, of course, you know best. Aww. And it's past your bedtime. Mm. Come on, up to bed. Now for your bedtime story, Little Bunny Bunting. Darling, would you mind awfully if I read the twins the story? Uh, oh, yes, of course. How kind. But uh, try not to get them too excited. They're meant to be going to sleep. Of course. Leave it to me. Once upon a time, there lived a rabbit called Little Bunny Bunting. Sounds a bit boring to me. <laughs> This is the book that I had when I was a little girl. Crazy spells for the under fives. <laughs> Spell number one, how to make a storm. Ooh. What a day. Where's Granny now? Uh, she's with the twins. Oh, is that such a good idea? After me, wave your wands. <laughs> Wandy. No wands? 
Oh, of course. Mummy and Daddy knew best and took your wands away. Never mind. Here's mine. Wandy. Say, thunder, thunder, thunder. Thunder, thunder, thunder. All right, elves, let's get these cabbages loaded. It's a bumper crop. Yes, we managed to keep all the pests off them this year. No green fly. No caterpillars. And most important of all, no snails. Snail alert. Snail alert. <laughs> Cabbages into the elf trap! Boy, get off me vegetables! Save the cabbages! Stop! Stop! What are these snails doing here? Uh, we're just doing a riding class. Come on! It's no good! They're eating faster than we can carry! Snails! Stop! Oh, ho, ho, you cheeky little snails. Cheeky? They've eaten half our cabbages. Well, if you will grow such delicious cabbages, what do you expect? But, but... Children, did you all have a nice ride today? Yes! Thank you, Miss Jolly. It's a pleasure. And we should also say a jolly big thank you to Mr Elf for giving the snails such a lovely lunch. It was my pleasure. Mind you, if they're going to eat at your place again, they really like lettuce the best. Grow a bit of that next time. All right. <laughs> People think snails are a pest, but they're adorable, really. Yes, they're so lovely and cute and cuddly. Well done, Nanny Plum. Thank you, King Thistle. Uh, <clears throat> it was my idea, Your Majesty. No, it wasn't. I thought of getting them together. I magicked up the breakfast tray. Let's just say elf cleverness and fairy magic has saved the day. Yay! She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. Still here. We thought you'd uh, gone far away. I tried, but I just can't get her out of my head. That lady gnome's beautiful, isn't she? Do you like the way her eyes sort of sparkle? For pity's sake, can't we talk about something else? OK, then. Don't you think she has pretty ears? Oh, this is terrible. He's in love with her. That's springtime for you. He's a fine figure of a gnome, isn't he? Oh, yes. And hasn't he got a nice big tummy? If you say so. I've made up a song about him. Would you like to hear it? No. I'll take that as a yes. Oh, look, I think he's coming. <gasps> Is he? How do I look? Is my hat on straight? Oh, it's you. I thought you'd gone. Yes, well, I, I just... That is to say, I, er... Uh... That's the first time I've seen a gnome lost for words. Would you like to hear a song I've written? <laughs> yes. I'll take that as a yes. Oh, my lady gnome has lots of lovely hair and lots of pretty eyes and ears so fair. <laughs> I like it. I'm Gloria. They're friends now. Gloria, will you be my own lady gnome and live with me forever in the little kingdom? Yes, I will. Come, my dear. I'll show you your new house. Here I am. I've come to rescue you. Thank you, Brave Knight. <laughs> but now you're both trapped. <laughs> oh, 
Ooh. We can easily get down. Not if I put bars on the window. Oh, we're stuck. Ha, 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 ha. Fleur, lunchtime. Oh, that's my mum. I've got to go. Bye. OK, bye, Fleur. How are we going to get down? Don't worry. I've got my wise one 3000. You're my best friend. OK, let's get out of here. I love you. Oh, it didn't work. I love you. It's not doing anything. What happened the last time you used it? Nothing. I haven't done any magic with it yet. I love you. It's useless. I wish I had my old wand. Oh, it's Gaston. Gaston could fetch help. Yes, Gaston, go and get Wandy. Fetch, Gaston, fetch. Gaston, you're in a hurry today. Hey, where are you going with Wandy? The Wise Wand 3000 is meant to be a very special wand, but it doesn't do anything. Maybe it's broken. It doesn't look broken. I love you. Does it ever say anything else? No, apart from... You're my best friend. That. It's actually a bit annoying. Yes, my old one's never talked. It just... Oh, Wandy! 